What's up, boys? Today starts a new project. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the more sought after Sea Dews. It's right here. It's a 2001 Sea Dew XP. It's got the 951. So it's clean, clean, clean. I got it for cheap. Of course, it has motor issues, but we're going to get those figured out. But look at the bottom on this thing. Just clean, bud. So here's the motor. Um, your typical 951. I believe, I'm pretty sure it's a carb model. Looks like it to me. Um, everything looks clean. Um, it has spark turns over so I'm not sure I'm gonna pull I have the head almost off pull this thing off real quick you can actually tell which cylinder was burning bad That back piston's cooked. Now, why? Hoping it's not the crankshaft, but who knows? So, um, I'm gonna diagnose this thing, see what's going on. I got it from a dealership about two hours north of me, saying I need a piston. Who knows? So, hey, we'll break into this and see what's going on. Let's get it, bud. So I got the cylinders off. They're dirty, but they are fine. Bad part, pissing is uh, my glove at. This piston probably busted. Then see the case right there. There's a hole in the case. Crank's fine. That piston is junk and the cases are busted. So we're gonna end up pulling this motor. Um, shouldn't be too bad, even even though pulling that cylinder, it's a one-piece cylinder. Not easy. It's, it's all these holder studs, so I had to take all those studs out. So you gotta use that nut trick where you put two nuts on there and pull the studs out. So I don't know. I'll get everything ordered for this thing and uh, see what happens. Um, this should be a fun project for sure. So let's get it. motors out I just lifted the sucker out you can see that gash right there from something but everything's looking normal guess he's still looking mint hey we're gonna get this motor in here and get it torn apart diagnose it see what's going on I'm already got the pistons and the new cases so expect inspect the crank I gotta there's little seals for the uh, balancer gear in, in the center of the crank. I gotta make sure those seals are all right. So, hey, let's get it.
we got this motor mostly apart. Um, crankshaft's tight. That was the bad cylinder right there. I mean, she's got no play. What do we got going on there? Unless it's been sitting for a while. But, so, the hole is on this side. Right there. But, look what happened to this. It busted right there, and look at the reed. Turn the brightness on. It actually hit the reed cage and busted that. It's crazy. This was this was sitting in there. That's nuts. Hmm. Well, we need a new one of those. But I'll get it ordered. I'll split this case real quick and see what we got underneath. Cases are split. Um, everything is looking good so far. Um, rod bearings, I mean, they're tight. I need to check all these bearings once I pull the uh, actual crank out. But, you can see, Right there, that them blue lines have to line up when we put everything back together for that balancer. You can see everything turns pretty, pretty all right. Um, there's this, I these seals are important right here. Uh, I have new outer seals, but. Everything looks good. Now I'm gonna pull this crank out of here, get everything cleaned up, and then get these these new cases cleaned up because these are the old case, old cases right here, new cases. So let's get it.
together. I got her upside down now. I just put the case on, got her all RTV'd up. Gonna give it 30 minutes, then torque everything down and go through the carburetors, put the starter on, put the rav valves on. She's ready to go back in, boys. So let's keep going. All right, guys, it's time to put this motor back in. Um, it's been probably five months, four months since I last worked on this thing. Um, it's been a winter. It's been snowing. Um, now it's warmed up. It's nice out. Time to get the Jessies out, dude. So this motor's got to go back in. Let's go. Charlie. All right, boys. Got the throttle hooked up. Choke. Choke. See here. Choke. Choke. Throttle. Oil injection. Throttle. Uh, electrical connections. Um, really, just need to do some random plugs, hoses, and the exhaust. Get the oil tank back in. That's really about it, boys. Um, it's going pretty smooth. The hardest part was really getting everything aligned, getting the uh, motor mounts in. But hey, exhaust, wire, and intake. Let's go. We were pretty much tidied up. Look at this exhaust. Got to get some little covers and stuff in there. But see this tool? It's for that nut down in there. That nut right there. Right here. Special tool from SVT, you need to have it. Pretty important. Look at this, boys. Brand new battery. Got a new battery for Bob Ski, too. We'll go ahead and start that up on video, too. But, new plugs. Get this battery in and then uh, put the new plugs in and get this thing going. It's ready to start. Let's get it. I don't think so. Starter was messed up there. Maybe the starter's got to shorten it. You know what I mean? There's a starter. Hey! Pop that. Pop that. sucker won't start it's pretty much acting like it's got a mind of its own um, it just turns over randomly it randomly goes in and out of power you can hear the pump cut on and everything so uh, I, I trimmed up some of this switch it wasn't the switch so I think the computer's fried because uh, once it'll turn over then it'll keep turning over and then sometimes it'll kill it because this is a start stop switch not just a start switch so, uh, hey, 
set a start in this one because obviously I won't run. I'm going to order a new computer. We'll go start Bob's. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. I got the title. I don't have the place for like this yet. It looks the same. 97 XP, 787. I've heard the 787 is a better motor. It's got water in it, what the hell? In, inside? No, oh, down here. Here, open this, open this thing up for me real quick. Wow. Oh, dude, it's got a battery in it. Huh? Oh, it's a shitty one in it. Yeah, that's a terrible battery. Get that thing out of there. How does this thing get wet with the cover on? I don't know. Oh, 787 looks so much better. All right, you change battery, I'll change the plug. These plugs look brand new. Are they brand new? They don't look like it ran on it. I don't think we ever got to start with them, man. Oh, yeah, we put new ones in it. Yeah, those are brand new. You got a screwdriver? I do. What is it? I can see it's a 16. You got you the 20. Oh, fuck. Oh, less cool cranking amps. What's the date on this battery? Ain't no date on it. G14, what's that? What day is that? The gay month. The gay month. Fucking. <laughs> Got the old SLH 900. 1999 SLH Polaris. She's locked up. I got this sucky. I got this puppy for free. Free. It's a 900. Yeah, it's a 900 twin. Got the top end taken off of her. She's locked. I'll get that thing going soon. We got the 99 XL Limited. This thing runs mint. I rebuilt that in a previous video. Max is 96 XP, 787. Dude, same motor, different haul. What is this, 95, Wave Raider 1100. Blew the crank, never rebuilt it, never going to rebuild it. So if anyone wants it, they can come get it for free. 94 XP, runs good, hasn't been out since probably beginning of last year. Oh, all right. I'm just recording this, Bob. Good though. It's a good puppy. I wouldn't tell you. It's nice. Dude. I mean, if you have to, you have to. Yeah. But I don't know, boys. Hey, 951 wouldn't start, but of course, old reliable 787 would. So, uh, old reliable. Old reliable. But uh, I'll get another video putting the computer in that 951 and see what happens. So until then, we're out, boys.